Welcome one to another edition of Play It Through, and on this edition it's Fantasy Zone, brought to us by Tengen. Fantasy Zone is a port of the arcade game of the same name, and there was actually two versions created for the NES slash Famicom, one by Sunsoft that only got released in Japan in 1987, and then the version I'm going to be playing here by Tengen, which isn't the greatest, but is the version I'm most familiar with when I was young. However, I recommend checking out the arcade, Sega Master System, and other versions of the game as well. So here we go with Fantasy Zone for the NES. In Fantasy Zone, you're playing as a living spaceship named Opa Opa who is in the Fantasy Zone and trying to stop an invading force from getting in and taking over the Fantasy Zone. You must go through several levels, destroying a certain number of enemies in each area, and then you're teleported to the boss battle. There are power-ups that you can gain by going to the shop with the money that you earn from taking out the enemies. At the bottom part of the screen, it lets you know how much gold you have, what round you're currently on, your score, amount of ships left, the weapons that you currently have equipped on the far right, and most importantly, when you're in the main levels, it tells you how many enemies left you have to destroy before you get to that boss encounter. For this boss, you can only attack when the mouth is open, so you have to kind of time your bombs and attacks accordingly and watch out for the projectiles he shoots out and then immediately pulls back in a second or so later. Here I'm going to buy a couple of weapons. Mainly buying the laser is the key here. I also have a smart bomb that I'll end up forgetting to use in this this time around, but can be very useful for clearing out enemies on the screen. Once we destroy all the enemies, it's time for the next boss encounter. For this one, we're going to be attacking the center circles. As you can see, they turn different colors and then go away all together, and when you destroy them all, the boss is done and you're moving on to the next level. Thankfully, very easy to dodge in between the projectiles, and that's pretty much how this game and this version goes, just because they move relatively slowly. When we get to the next level, once again, buying the laser, and this time I'm going to buy a heavy bomb. A heavy bomb is just a giant weight that you drop on the enemies, but it is devastating damage-wise. It doesn't matter which direction you go, this game's kind of like Defender and the like, where you can go either direction on the map in order to deal with things. For the next boss, we're going to drop our heavy weight on the laser firing things in the front of it. Try to destroy as many of them as I can with a single weight. Then just pick off the rest of them. Watch out for the lasers as they fire out. As long as you're not directly in front of the one when it's about to fire, you should be perfectly fine. In the next level, I'm going to once again buy the laser and a smart bomb. This time two of them. For this level, all you gotta do is travel along the bottom and keep firing your laser. You can hold down the button for the laser or keep pressing it, whichever one you prefer. As soon as we get into the boss encounter, I'm gonna use the smart bomb to flash the enemy and end up doing a pretty good amount of damage. You need to turn every part of him green, every part of the arms green. Going to do the same thing in the next level, we're going to buy some smart bombs as well as the laser. You have to take out these giant glass-like acorns that you're blasting. You got to be careful, even with the uh, the best speed and such, you still got to go relatively slow. You got to like move a little bit, then stop, move a little bit, stop. And that's usually how I end up going uh, when it comes to tracking down each and every one of the enemies. Unless I know for sure they're going to be in like a straight line and I can just blast one after another. For this boss, you take out all the small snowmen and work your way layer by layer as they're firing projectiles, and when it gets to the end of it, you have to deal with the big old snowman and dodge those while finishing it off. The next level, we're going to once again buy the laser and a heavy bomb. Be careful going to whichever side here. It's a little bit hard to see the enemies, they blend in a bit in the background in this one. Once they're taken care of though, we're going to wait for the boss to show up. It'll run out our laser most likely, or at least most of it. But thankfully, all we gotta do is drop a weight on the boss, just make sure you don't get hit by any of the three arms. And that boss should be taken care of in just a few moments. Here, we're gonna go ahead and grab another laser. And a heavy bomb. Work our way over to the left at the very top of the screen, taking out each and every one of these blue enemies. Thankfully, the final two are just bunched together, so it makes it very easy. 
Now for this boss, all you want to do is wait for it to form, make sure you're not within the area that it's forming to, and drop a weight. You can even drop the weight early and so when it forms, it's forming right on top of the weight and it will be defeated. It's now time for a boss rush. Max out your heavy bombs and buy a laser. For the first boss, drop the heavy weight on the mouth when it opens up. We're going to do the same thing to the second boss that we did before, blasting all the little circles and then once they're done, that boss is taken care of. For the third boss, drop the heavy weight early and then finish off the lasers. It's not going to be very useful to use the heavy weight on the fourth boss. Just use your laser to slowly hit each one of the arm pieces until they're all changed. You can use the weight on the snowmen if you like. You want to get close enough to drop it on them, but it's not something you necessarily have to do. Just be careful of the main snowman's projectiles. Just move up and down slightly in order to keep firing and take it down. For the next boss, just get underneath of it and drop one weight, and that's all it takes. We're going to do the same thing with the next boss. Drop that weight to make sure that when it forms, it's right on top, and that takes us to the final boss encounter. Now what happens is the ship goes all the way back and ends up having these creatures come out of it on these, like, pipes. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop a weight right near the front. Just do this twice in a row, and you'll take out most of them. Then for the final one, just hit that one, and that's it. That was the final boss. It's over, and we can enjoy the ending of the Fantasy Zone on the NES. You gotta love the ending, that it's like this very kind of cutesy shoot 'em up but the storyline is relatively serious, with Opa Opa's father being one of the enemies that we dealt with during the game. It's just uh, interesting that that ends up being the ending, but with that, it will also wrap up this episode of Play It Through. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.